Hello, what's going on? This is Clay Bierman. After the first 18 days that my solar system has been operational, I am extremely disappointed. But it's not for the reasons you think. Let's just get to the facts right away. It's actually January 6th, 2021. But what I'm going to talk about is the 18 days in December that the system has, was online for. And why I'm, only, why I'm not talking about the days in January is just because the billing cycle for my electric bill and just kind of a summary per month of, of the generation of the panels. My eight kilowatt hour system generated 188.28 kilowatt hours of energy in those 18 days in December. And of those 188.28 kilowatt hours, 101 were sold back to the grid and then the home used the remainder. How much money is 188 kilowatt hours? Well, if you multiply 188 times 0.128, which is about 12.8 cents per kilowatt hour that I'm charged, it comes out to a little over $24 that this system has earned me so far. <laughs> those 188 kilowatt hours sounds like a lot, right? Unfortunately, <laughs> My billing cycle, which was 33 days from about December 1st until about, I think, January 3rd or 4th, my kilo, the, the kilowatt hours I was billed for was 1138. And when you divide that by 33 days, that comes out to 34, about 34.5 kilowatt hours per day that I use. Now, in the 18 days that I am talking about in December that my system was online, they did not generate 34.5 kilowatt hours per day. What they generated, if you average those days out, was about 10.46 kilowatt hours per day. Here's why I'm disappointed. And it's not the panels. The panels have been great. Even right now, on a cloudy, very overcast day, as long as my car's not plugged in and my uh, geothermal furnace is not, heater is not running, the panels will still put out energy into the grid. Let me show you. Right there going this way that means energy is going from the panels out into the grid if it was going that way it mean it would mean that energy is coming from the grid into my house i'm disappointed because of all those days in december those 18 days it's probably been sunny completely sunny for the whole day for one of those days Maybe one and a half, two days, but even that like second day-ish was like a little bit of overcast. So it's one of those things, it's like Murphy's Law, right? And you're just like, what did you expect, asshole? It's December in Indiana, Northern Indiana. <laughs> Before my system was turned on, we had all these perfectly sunny days. I'm like, my system could be making so much power. And then as soon as it turns on, it just turns into nasty cloudy weather. And not only has it been cloudy, but there's been rain there's been snow the panels have been covered as i'll show you in this picture here and just about the most dreary winter days you can think of and honestly the panels have performed very well for the weather they've been given in december here's the impressive thing though that one completely sunny day my system generated 33 kilowatt hours of energy 33 kilowatt hours of energy that's pretty close to that 34.5 kilowatt hours that were averaged over the last billing period in december in Indi northern Indiana. That's impressive, okay? So in my mind, come summer months, sunny days, this is, system is gonna generate way more than 34, 35 kilowatt hours a day. I'm not disappointed in the system itself. The system itself has been great as far as I'm concerned with, with the weather that's been given. I'm disappointed with the weather. And again, what are you expecting, asshole? It's December, it's December in Indiana. It's just funny though. I just, I want some sunny days. But anyway, let's just, let me just show you the, uh, kind of like what the weather's been like in Indiana lately. Cloudy, 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 more clouds. Cloudy, yeah, might be probably sunny, might be probably sunny. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Snow, cloudy, cloudy. Actually, that's the first little sun symbols I've seen in a while. In conclusion, Crappy weather, good system, 188 kilowatt hours generated, uh, that equals about $24 worth of money produced or saved, however you want to look at it. Just fun fact, I used 300 and, I think over 350 kilowatt hours in my Chevy Volt, so the solar did not cover all that energy usage, and no issues so far. It's been good. Really quick here, this is my solar journal that I've created, so you can see system installed November 25th. 
2020 system online December 14th 2020 at 11:45 a.m. approximately and then my cost for the system and then so what I have here is my electric bill is beginning October 2020 um, so I have three bills so far recorded. Then I have this column here, solar power generated kilowatt hours, zero, zero, because this one wasn't on. And then the 180.28 that I talked about in December. So months on this side, uh, total for 2020. And then I'll do the same thing for 2021, 2022, into the future for as long as you know I'm able to do this. These are my electric bills right here. They've trended upwards. I, well, I've been driving a lot more with my Chevy Volt and it's gotten colder, so the heater's running more. Uh, X uh, solar power generated, X is put back in grid, kilowatt hours for electric bill, 101. Money produced or saved from solar, however you want to look at it. Uh, electric mileage driven in volt uh, per month, approximately kilowatt, hour, kilowatt hours used in volt based on my calculations. Uh, and then fuel provided by solar, no, no, and then partially provided. So total columns are there. Again, Clay Beerman, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I do have one quick complaint so far. My microinverters are end phase microinverters and they have, they're supposed to be a real time monitoring system. That system has been off and on a lot and it doesn't really, it doesn't give you real time data, like real time energy flow, which I, I wish it did. Um, I'm going to chalk up the system not reporting all the time and, and being slow to update based on the weather and the fact that sometimes the panels aren't generating anything just cause it's either too cloudy or they're covered in snow. So yeah, that's my only, uh, complaints so far.